Recently, someone has mentioned to me my thoughts on AI art and if I enjoy it or dislike it. And what are my thoughts on how this affects creativity and art in general? I think that every advancement in technology will eventually displace people from the current job that they're doing to replace it with more efficiency. And therefore, people have to find jobs in other fields or find something else to do. With AI art, images, and even videos can be generated quickly. It's been advancing a lot in the recent years, especially in the past four years or five years. And it's now getting to where video AI is extremely advanced that it looks extremely realistic. Photos, pictures, and AI art has advanced faster. And with this, we can see that people use this to generate images and post this on their social media accounts. Now, with many things in social media, a lot of it has to do with getting your work out there and showing it to people. If it looks interesting and it's something that someone wants to see, and maybe you add tags to it or share it to other people, it gets a lot of views and interest. Now, the thing is that when you have artists that put a lot of work into something and it's being replaced by AI, they no longer really have the ability to make income from that. There are some jobs that just really can't be replaced in the short term or maybe even in the long term. These jobs would include something such as physical labor, like construction, electrical work maybe, plumbing, building roads, building the entire infrastructure and buildings. A lot of these jobs are very physical and it would take a lot of technology and advancement to replace these jobs. And if they were to be replaced one day by robotics and AI, then those people are going to have to find different jobs. And the jobs that would open up would be jobs that involve building them. But what happens when the robotics and the AI are building themselves? You no longer have people working in a warehouse or on a line building them by hand. Eventually it gets to where they're being built by other robotics and AI. An example of this is the car industry in which cars are now being made a lot of by robotics which replaces the worker. The robotics can work longer shifts, all day, every day, 24-7 almost. They don't require medical insurance or any type of health insurance or any other benefits. They don't require hourly rate of pay or overtime pay. They also don't require vacations or raises you also don't have to worry about them being late or how many hours they're working in a day or any, anything personal that might interfere with the job so when the cost of things keeps increasing and due to this cost wages have to go up this causes the value of the money to actually go down because People that are above the lower income amount, their cost of living goes up. So you have a shrinking amount of people in what would be considered the middle class. And even the upper middle class, this shrinks even more to where over time you eventually just have a situation to where you have the very upper class and then most people and everyone is very low class in income. And 
these advancements in technology, as I said, with replacing other jobs, the robotics now are building a lot of the cars, whereas it used to be a lot of it was done by the people doing it on the line. So the jobs that do end up opening up then would be in robotics or construction of them and building them. And the requirements for the jobs keep increasing. Instead of it being jobs that are as physical, they become more intellectual or involved with programming and things like that. But as it continues advancing, even programming continues to improve in which the robotics and the AI can program itself over time. And then those jobs get replaced. So the original jobs that was done by the people in the warehouse building the cars or building anything is replaced by robotics. And then people have to shift to doing a job to where they're in programming or maintenance of them. But then that gets replaced by automated AI systems that automatically can code and generate this. So then the amount of jobs that are available continues shrinking. Although there are small markets to open up to where there's other jobs available, the general and overall amount of jobs that are available continues to decline. If you go back in history many years ago, work was always abundant. In fact, people didn't have much free time. Life was work. If you look back over a hundred years ago, life would consist of getting up, eating, working the whole day on a farm and then taking care of your friends and family. So everything revolved around work and you were working all day. But everybody had the opportunity for a job or the ability to move up an in income or the ability to save to buy something such as a house or a car. But now the situation is that the cost of living keeps rising, whereas the value of the money keeps going down. And the availability for jobs that are not requiring such a high amount of skill or intellectual ability, the amount of those required keeps going up, whereas the jobs that are more physical, physical labor, the pay for those doesn't increase. So what happens is a lot of people that um, are required for those jobs or needed is no longer as abundant. And the wage for that kind of always stays low. But you always need jobs that are physical or require you know, physical labor, such as construction or building things. And there's always this pursuit of Jobs that are high pay and intellectually demanding, but there isn't much of an appreciation for the physical labor jobs or the jobs in construction or doing things outside. We always hear things about people wanting a good pay and everything, but that's always pay increases for the intellectual jobs, not the jobs that are physical. And with that, over time, when all the jobs that are intellectual that people do, be it creativity, programming, robotics, AI, the AI is replacing all these intellectual jobs. And in the end, most of what will be left is physical labor jobs. But if most people want to improve intellectually and all that's left is physical labor jobs and the pay is low, then how will they afford to pay their bills? And if you have robotics producing all these goods and everything, and people can't buy them because the job that they're getting paid from is physical labor or a job that isn't highly intellectual, if it shifts to where most people have to do those jobs because they're getting replaced by AI and robotics, then they don't have the wealth to buy any of these products 
So over time, wouldn't they eventually be making products that no one can buy? And therefore, the production will go down. And then, being that the production of the goods go down, because the demand goes down, the price might go down slightly then, but people still can't afford it because they have no need for you know, what would be considered a non-necessity, such as a large TV, uh, building a computer, a whole computer system for gaming, a video gaming system, a luxury car, any, any of these extra things, because they only have income to pay their bills, to buy food, and they have no savings left. And there's always been changes in history, advancements from the invention of the printing press for making books. No longer did people have to write out every page like they used to. And then later on, then there was advancements with radio, television, movies, and then it went from that to CDs, and then now there's digital copies of everything. And I think with AI art is that the appreciation for the effort and work is no longer there because people are seeking not a connection to an artist or the work, but only the visual and the end result. So by replacing all that, there's not a connection or really a appreciation for the effort put into it because it can be replaced by something that requires no longer the skill of drawing, rather only the ability of imagination. And so it takes out the physical element and replaces it with the intellectual ability. But then over time, the AI no longer needs the person's input. It can generate and do this on its own without needing a prompt at all, completely eliminating the person. And all that has to be done is a selection for this. So a company or somebody that's making a movie or maybe an anime or something else, they no longer have to have as many people working there to create the product. So the amount of jobs that are open for this will heavily decrease. And when people are going to college for degrees to get jobs in a lot of these fields, when most of it's being replaced by robotics and AI, the amount of people thinking get a job with their degrees, that decreases over time as well. So you end up with people having degrees, but no ability to get a job. And now they have a massive amount of debt and no way to pay it because they have to work some job that is either fast food, um, some type of physical manual labor, and all these jobs are low pay. And the thres threshold for entering the higher intellectual jobs are so high that a lot of them don't want to hire you unless you have a high amount of experience. And I think sometimes they might put that on there. Um, just so that they can try to get someone that is very desperate. Someone that's willing to do the most amount of work for the least amount of pay. And if you can replace a person's needs for survival of requiring to pay them, and you can replace it by AI and robotics, it saves a company and everything a lot of money for production. But then if people have no income, then they have no one to sell the product to. So the advancement of it could possibly also be the cause for which will prevent it from even profiting. And with AI art, it has progressed over time. For most of history, art was drawing by hand, painting by hand. And eventually it got to where It advanced from the physical of drawing with your hand to then digital. And with the digital, it can be done much quicker. 
You can copy and paste things. You can do all these shortcuts. And then that advanced now to AI. And so will artists be replaced by AI? Will creativity be replaced by AI? Will most jobs be replaced by this? I think that it's possible. But if this does happen, there will have to be something that will happen to give people the ability to make income, to buy anything. Because, as I said, if you have it doing all these jobs, to make it cheaper for a company or someone to make these products, but people aren't able to have any job that's decent pay because it's been replaced by AI, they don't have the money to buy these products. So it's an interesting thought to me, and I think that now with AI, um, a lot of people are using it to post it on social media and share it with people, and I'll have to look into it more, but my guess would be that there's probably people that are using AI to make art, and then saying that they had created this themselves. I think the issue with that is that would be the same as if you were to think about bodybuilding and building strength. For example, if you take someone and they work out six days a week, they focus as much as they can on sleep, nutrition, recovery, making sure that they're pushing themselves as hard as they can to where they can get the most out of every set that they're doing in their exercise, while also recovering as best as they can so that when they do work out, they have the maximal amount of energy and recovery to push themselves the hardest. And with all that, you can see that you can enjoy the process of doing it because you know and you can see the result of the work put into it. And as someone continues working out and building strength and muscle, then they can take photos, show people the result of their work, and you can appreciate the amount of work that someone's put into that. You can see that they have done this work themselves. So keep that in mind. And now imagine now, in the future, which is today, when you compare how fitness or bodybuilding was, and now you have people that will use AI and things to make themselves look a certain way. And they spend most of their lives online. So no longer do they have to actually put in the work to build their muscles. They can just use AI and edit the photos to make themselves look bigger than what they really are, more muscular. No longer did people actually have to take care of their health and take care of their body physically by exercising, focusing on sleep, recovery, and nutrition. Instead, they use filters and AI and edit their photos. And now there's even apps and things that people can use for when they're on a video call, or recording a video, that can improve the skin quality and make you look different. Is that real? That's not really what the person achieved. And when you see them in person, they don't look anything like they do in the photos they post themselves. They look nothing alike. And... This is not even living in reality. It's just living in a fantasy. But why do that? Why edit the image of yourself to make yourself look like something that you're not? That would just show that you're not happy with what you are or who you are. And you have to use false images and fake images to just get an end result. Whereas the person that actually puts in the work focuses on their health and everything. Not only could they 
be appreciated for the work they put into it. And you can see the result. But their health would be better. They would mentally and physically be better as well. And I think I can see that with a lot of social media and this advancement in AI, it's kind of giving this illusion to people that you know, they're living you know, a fantasy of a life that they don't really have. And only sharing you know, the positive moments of everything. And this goes back to something I talked about in another video, which is my thoughts on things. That sometimes people tell me that I'm too pessimistic or too negative. And really, I'm just looking at things for how they are. And I think that with all the benefits and advances with AI and technology, there are a lot of drawbacks and disadvantages to it. And I think those disadvantages are that the human mind hasn't adapted quickly enough for this. For most of human history, we've been set in our ways, but this is advancing far faster. And this is causing a lot of disadvantage as well. I often see people that they're so focused on their social media and their phones when they're in public, they don't seem to even interact with each other. Such as if I'm going somewhere, I pass by a restaurant or anywhere in public and I see friends and couples together. They don't even socialize much. They're sitting there across from the table and they're spending all their time just on their phone. And I often see people that work out in the gym. They spend most of their workout on their phone watching videos. And most of the videos that people are watching is short form, 30 seconds or less. As if people don't have the attention or the you know, time span ability to focus on something more than 30 seconds. And that's why I just never had interest in making short videos with you know, flashing lights and words flying everywhere. I like to think about things more deeply. And even if it means that there's a lack of interest in my content or what I do from other people, being that it's not like that or those type of videos, I'd rather do something I enjoy that actually improves my life in some way than to do something that makes my life worse for the illusion of improvement. And when I see people just not even socializing or talking to each other, they're, and they're even couples, and they're just on their phone the whole time, it makes you wonder, what's the point of even going out to a restaurant or anything then? You might as well just get food and bring it home and cook it. Or even order food, not even go out. And I get it. If everything's being replaced by AI to give people the image that they don't really have of how they look, then why even go out when people will see what you actually look like physically? And we've probably seen this with people that are bodybuilders that... Um, or even what they would call influencers, that they, they post pictures of themselves of how muscular they are and how fit they are. And then when you see them in a person, they don't look anything like that. And this is one of the things that I think that um, the advancement of the technology, it's not so much the technology exactly within itself. I think, I think what it is... Um, the main contributor to that with social media is that people haven't been able to adapt or change to deal with the coming changes and advancements in technology or with AI. And so it, it kind of makes this cycle to where it rewards people for the illusion of how they look and they share that, and it's not them. But these are just some of my ideas um, on AI and 
the advancements in technology with this. Um, these are all just my opinions on it, just some things that I've thought about. And I think that also wanted to mention is that using AI art to monetize to make income is going to replace a lot of the people that actually are putting the work into it. And it's going to reward the people that are just good with um, thinking very, very quickly, typing things out very quickly, rather than someone that can think deeply about something and takes their time. And I think we can also see that in a lot of movies or video games these days, is that instead of taking time to actually make something of quality, they're focused on making something focusing on quantity either quantity of profit or quantity of the amount made to make up for the lack of quality so because there's a lack of quality they have to hire make a higher amount of quantity to equate to make the same amount of income but these are some of my thoughts on this and any other topics i think about i'll talk about later in the future Later.